Hey, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone are having a good day today. Today we'll be looking at variables, operators, and expressions in the C programming language. For all of you who have tuned in, I'm sure this video is going to help you. So if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button and do watch the previous video before you get into this. Now get your book and let's get into it. Now let's discuss about the variables in the C programming language. Now in C programming language, all the variables must and should be declared before they are used. That is, they are usually declared in the start of the function or in the start of the program, after the header file, before any executable statement. Now there are two types of declarations. That is the global declaration and the local declaration. Now the global declaration is done at the beginning of a program and the local declaration is done locally in the beginning of the function. Uh, let's look at an example so that it makes so that it clears your doubt. Now let's say that there's a uh, user defined program, say int program. You need to open the flower packet, and then if you write int a comma b, here you're declaring variables a and b as integers. So this is done in the start of a function, okay, before any executable statement, and these are the statement of the body. Then this is known as local declaration okay but this is your because you're doing it in the start of the function and what is global declaration if you do the declaration at the start of the program after the preprocessor director then this is known as global declaration here a and b are the variables of the type integer so the declaration is done after the header file that is stdio.h you get a declaration over here and after the declaration comes all the other functions the main function your user defined function everything comes after the declaration this is known as global declaration. Uh, global declaration is uh, not usually preferred. Local declaration is a preferred declaration type in the C programming language. You'll get to know in the future lessons. Now let's look at a few data types in C programming language. C provides many data types such as the int, float, char, short, long, and double, which announces the property of the variable. Now int, n stands for integer variable. This means that the variables listed are all integers. Now float, uh, it tells that the variable is a floating type. It means that the number may have a fractional decimal point, okay? May have a fractional part or a decimal point. Now char is for character of a single byte. And short stands for short integer. Nothing but an integer that is short, okay? And long stands for long integer values. And double is for double precision floating point. In float, you get a single precision floating type that is you'll get numbers you can uh, get numbers such as 3.2 or 3.4 exam etc but for double you can get numbers such as 3.12 that has two numbers after a decimal point so that that is what they mean by double precision floating point okay now the declaration that you do sometimes even defines the initial value of the variable okay let's let's have a exam let's look at an example for example int x comma y comma z equals to zero. Here you are defining z's initial value. Here you are defining the initial value of z to be equal to zero. Now the question is, how do you name a variable? Now there are there are a few limitations or restrictions uh, which you should follow while naming variables. The first character uh, of the variable must and should be a letter. Okay, it cannot be a number or it cannot be an underscore. It should be a letter. It can be either small letter or it can be in caps, it doesn't matter, but it should be a letter. And yes, as I told you, do not begin with an underscore. So you cannot begin the name of a uh, name of a variable with an underscore, but you can include the underscore anywhere in between the name. Okay. So this is accepted. High underscore name is accepted, but underscore high name cannot be, uh, you cannot write it like that. Keywords such as if, uh, int, float, for, while, all these cannot be used while you're declare uh, in your variable. Okay, int, if, or int, while, these and all these are the exceptions. They cannot be used uh, while you're declaring a variable. Each variable in C has a respective has a respective data type, right? And each data type requires different memory spaces and different memory. Now, for data type short end, the memory that is required is 2 bytes, 
where the whereas the pomite specifier where the pomite specifier is percentage hd and for int it is four memory bytes and the format specifier is person hd we'll just look at the format specifier later now what you need to know is format specifiers is used while you are writing the printf statement or the scanner statement we use it some we use it uh, we sometimes we use it in uh, expressions as well we we'll look into it later long int requires memory of 8 bytes and the format specifier is percentage ld for char it is one byte memory and percentage c is the format specifier float is four memory by four bytes and percentage f and for double it is eight bytes whereas the format specifier is percentage lf now i would um, request you all to just write this down in a sheet of paper it will help you a lot constants as the name suggests the variables or values which cannot be modified once they are declared or once they are defined are known as constants okay they are a fixed value in a program uh, in the c programming language we can define the constants in two ways that is one by using the hashtag define preprocessor directive and two by using the constant by using the constant keyboard before we move any further there's a other there's another term that is uh, that we use over here that is literals now what is literals? The values referred to each constant variable are referred to as literals. Okay. So now for example, constant C O N S T int A equals to 3. Now over here you have defined A is equal to 3. So this value is known as the literal. Now let's just look at how we use the about two ways. So uh, hashtag define the syntax is hashtag define name. Hashtag define space name space value. So for example, we'll take an, we'll look at an example. Hashtag define space x space 23. Now here the variable x is given a constant value 23, which cannot be changed. Okay. If you use x anywhere in a program, then it will directly be written as 23. Now uh, let's look at the syntax for constant variable. Syntax is const c o n s t space data type space name equals to value now let's look at an example const int space x equals to 23 so here it's giving it's giving the value 23 it's defining the value 23 to the x 23 is a constant value which cannot be changed now for the variable x so all the both of these uh, methods will give you the same uh, output you can use both of these as per convenience now let's look at operators an operator specifies the operation on data type which produces a value and what are operands operands are the data items on which the operators act now if you take an example if you look at an example a plus b the the plus symbol is the operator in this expression and a and b are the two operands i hope you guys understood there are more such operators such as the logical operator assignment operator relation operator bitwise operator which we'll look into due course now let's first look at the assignment operator plus minus into divide and modulus so these are the uh, arithmetic operators the plus minus multiply and divide i hope you all know the um, operations of these the plus is an additional addition operator it, it gives you the sum as output if you use this it gives you sum as the output and the minus is a subtraction operator you can subtract two values or two variables using this operator and into multiplies two, two variables divide divides two variables but the modulus operator what is modulus operator if you use a modulus operator uh, in an expression it gives you the reminder okay now let's take an example p mod q uh, now then if if p exactly divides q then the reminder is uh, going to be zero and this is a and it cannot be applied the modulus operator cannot be applied applied on float or double uh, on data types float or double okay next next we look at the relational operator greater greater than greater than equal to lesser than lesser than equal to equal to equal to not equal to so these are the relational operators these have a lesser lesser precedence than the arithmetic operation operators precedence in a sense these have a le lesser uh, importance okay if you use both of these together then the compiler first looks at the 
assignment operators then it comes to the relation operators uh, thus if you take an example uh, an expression like i is greater than n minus 1 the compiler takes it as i is greater than bracket n minus 1 okay first n minus 1 is calculated first the arithmetic operation is calculated after that it takes into consideration the relation operator so that uh, this shows that relation operators have a less precedence okay compared to the arithmetic operator now we look at the logical operator so these operators i used to combine two or more conditions and the result of this is a boolean value that is it's either true or false that is zero or one and and is a logical and ampersand ampersand is a logical and and this is the logical or and the exclamatory mark is a logical not okay the logical and operation it returns a value it returns true when both of the conditions under observation are true and logical or it returns value true if any one of the uh, two observations two conditions under observation are true and the logical not it returns a true value if the condition under uh, consideration is not satisfied now let's see the increment and decrement operator plus plus and minus minus are the two increment and decrement operators the plus plus is the increment operator and the minus minus is the decrement operator now let's look at an example uh, to understand this so x is equals to n plus plus okay this is an increment operator what it does it is it adds one to the value so it's same as x equals to n plus 1. It gives you the same result, but using n plus plus is more convenient and more easy in this language. So this operator can be used either as a prefix operator or a postfix operator. Let's look how it can be used as that. The prefix operator is written as x equals to plus plus n. It is used before the variable, okay? And the postfix operator is written as x equals to n plus plus, that is after the variable. Now in both the in both the cases, the final output is 1. I mean, the final output is same. That is, we are incrementing the, vari the variable. But the former, that is, uh, the prefix operator, increments n before its value is used, while uh, the postfix operator, that is, the n plus plus, n is first considered, then its value is incremented. Uh, let's look at an example. Let's take n is equal to 3. Now, uh, if we take postfix of if we if we uh, up, so in postfix operation operation uh, x equals to n plus plus this first sets x equals to three then it increments it that is uh, it increments it to four now in the prefix operator x equals to plus plus n it first increments the value okay it first makes it four then it's considered finally we look at the assignment operator equals to is the assignment operator for example x equals to 0 is an assignment operator this assigns this assigns the value 0 to the variable x okay now finally comes expression or what is an expression an expression is the combination of operators constants and variables to produce a new value so in this example x equals to a plus b minus c here a b c are the operands and plus and minus are the operators whereas x whereas this uh, as a whole is an expression and the variable x it stores the final output of this expression okay so this is this comes to the end of today's session i uh, hope you guys understood if you have any doubts just let me know in the comment section i'll look into it that's all for today see you in the next one have a nice day bye bye